Hi everyone, I'm back today with a tutorial video on these post-it note keychain holders. I had someone from YouTube message me um, the Tink 1927 and she said that she would like to know how to make these and ask for a tutorial video. So um, I have linked Angie's video in one of my past videos on these or I may have put it on my blog I'm not sure which one now um, but I will put her link also in the description um, Angie Kennedy from Chicken Scratch and she's who I learned how to make these from I also have another size if you use the 2x2 two two post-it note pad holders and it's done the same way it's just different dimensions so um, I may end up doing a short video on this one also, or I may just put um, the dimensions and the scoring in the description of this one. I'm not sure yet, so um, we'll see how that one goes. But to get started with this size, this is just the yellow standard um, post-it note. I got these at Office Depot um, in a big pack, and they are one and a half inches tall by two inches wide so you're going to need um, cardstock, thick cardstock for this not like the paper thin stuff because it won't hold up very well and you need to cut a piece at three and a quarter by two and then you're going to score it and scoring this one is kind of a really odd um, scoring dimension so I'm just going to use my uh, paper trimmer with the score blade on it because um, I can't score this one with the Martha Stewart. It's, this is going to be scored at 1 and 9 sixteenths. For your first one. So 1 and 9 sixteenths. And then 1 and 11 sixteenths. So with the odd scoring, um, I recommend using a paper trimmer. And you can use your bone folder with that too, not just um, like I have the score blade on there, but you don't have to have that. You can also use your bone folder. So then what we're going to do, let me turn this so you guys can see, there we go, um, is fold on the score mark and just reinforce that fold and I just use scrap paper a scrap cardstock that I have because you just need small pieces of it so it's a good way to use up some of that scrap stuff if you have piles of it like I do so your score is going to be about a quarter of an inch wide. Okay, so then you can decide which part you want for the front and the back. And I think I'm going to use this one as the front because the flowers are kind of upside down. So, then you take your post-it note holder. And these are pretty thick when you get them. You can actually make three keychains out of one pad because it can only be um, about a quarter of an inch thick to go through the crocodile, and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to peel the back of this off, and then I'm going to stick it inside right up to the first score line. And then just press it down, and then when I close it, it fits right inside there. And then up in this left hand corner. Um, you could do right hand corner, it doesn't matter, you could do in the middle, is where I'm going to punch a hole. And I'm going to use the 3 16 inch side. I'm just going to punch a hole up in this corner. And I think that looks pretty good right there. So the crocodile will punch 
through the entire thing. So now we have a hole. And then, um, you can decorate the front however you want. Um, I have a piece of ribbon that I cut about two inches wide. And I took a lighter to the ends so it wouldn't fray once I adhered it down. So I'm going to adhere that right there. And I'm going to use some score tape. If I can find it. I guess I didn't bring the score tape. Dallas, can you grab the score tape out of the top drawer up there, please? Sorry about that. I wasn't prepared for the score tape. And that drawer's a mess. I hope you find it. Messy, messy drawer. No, there's one open. Well, there should be. I don't need to have it over here. I know I don't have it over here. So, okay, for video's sake, I'm just going to use, I really don't want to use that because it's not going to stay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Found it! Yay! Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to put this right across the front. And I would say probably about um, just under half an inch up. And then try to get it straight across. And then just cut this end off. I know you can tear the score tape, but I wanted this to be all the way at the end. So that's just a strip across the front. And then you just peel it and I'm going to stick my ribbon down. And this, this is the quarter inch score tape, so I'm actually going to have some of it sticking out. I should have used, I don't have the eighth inch. Um, but if you're going to use this thinner ribbon like this, then I would use the 8th inch score tape. Um, so I'll just use this one as a demo. And then on this one I put a little flower bling. But this one I'm actually going to put a paper flower. And I'm going to use a glue dot for that. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the front. Oh, I should have put my ribbon up a little higher. So then I have the flower. And then I'm going to take one of these little rings that I have and put it right in the center of my flower. just for some added bling. And then my binder ring, it's just a one inch binder ring. I've already tied some um, sheer ribbon in a blue and a light yellow. And you just attach that and if you want, you can actually take your score tape or your um, tape runner and tape the post-it note down on the inside. Sometimes it'll come loose. I just used the sticky stuff that comes on it. So then there is your completed 
keychain. So I hope this helps um, anybody who wanted to know how to make them. And like I said, I will also put Angie's link um, in the description so you guys can go check out her video also. And I hope everybody has a great rest of their day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!